Hi, I'm Sarah, and welcome to Lori Farm. Hi, and welcome to my garden tour. So we're gonna get started here in greenhouse, well, it used to be greenhouse number one. It's now the convertible greenhouse. Basically, it's just netted in instead of um, being plastic over because the plastic got ruined and we just thought we'd try netting to keep the chickens out. So we're gonna head on in. And in here we have a lot going on. I'm uh, actually super excited. I woke up this morning and we have our first tomato turning red, which is like my favorite thing about gardening. So I'm gonna show you that in a minute, but we're gonna start over here with these tomatoes and they have grown so much in the last week or two. It's crazy. They have like tripled in size. And even the short one here is doing super well. It's got a ton of green tomatoes in here. And this is a early girl. So these should be reddening up soon, which would be awesome because I just can't wait to get that first tomato of the season, that really fresh, just garden grown tomato. You really miss it over a long winter. We have a few different varieties through here, but the one that's actually already starting to turn red is right over here, and that's a cherry tomato. We have quite a few on this plant already. I have gone through and pruned here uh, about twice because they were getting just a little bit out of control and growing up everywhere because we've had a lot of heat here in Minnesota, which really helps tomatoes. It has been a real dry season. We are in like a really bad drought actually, which isn't so bad for tomatoes because they don't need a whole bunch of water. So these have been taken off like weeds because of the, the heat and the lack of water. But as you can see, have a huge bunch of them growing in here and I have a little orange one that's going to be ready to pick here soon which I'm not going to share with anyone because you work so hard for them and they're so dang delicious and on the opposite side of the greenhouse I have my cucumbers which as you can see have taken off really really well too I have three different varieties growing in here I have you know your regular regular big cucumbers in these two boxes here and the foliage is looking really great we are, again, lacking in water, so that's been a struggle this season for us, but they are doing fantastic, sprouting up nicely. Um, and then right over here, I have the English cucumbers. I call them munchers because my kids just pick them right out of the garden and munch on them all day long. We hardly get any of them between the two kids. But both of these boxes are the munchers, and as you can tell, these ones are doing amazing. Um, they were flowering earlier. You can't really see because we're shooting this in the evening. So the flowers are actually closed up for the night. But I suspect that we'll start getting little cucumbers here soon. And in the last box in these little um, potters I have going here, in here, I have our pickling cucumbers, which are really great. We love refrigerator pickles here. We do have a video on how to make refrigerator pickles. I'm going to put a link below. Super easy. Whole family can get involved and they're delicious. And we are in our converted greenhouse number two right now. And in here, come on inside, we have our zucchini plants, which as you can tell, have just taken off wonderfully. They have probably five times what they were last week. It is amazing what this heat has done for them. They're growing big, they're flowering. Um, most of the plants already have zucchinis growing on them. And as anyone who's ever grown zucchinis, they're small today, but by tomorrow, I'm sure they'll be as big as my arm. So if you want to come take a look over here, quite a few right in there. And right over here, we have a whole bunch growing too. This whole greenhouse is just zucchini and they are doing fabulous. I couldn't be more pleased with the way these are turning out. Let's head over to the new greenhouse, which we've been working really hard on. I'm super excited to show you all the improvements and what else is to come. So follow me. And this is the new greenhouse. Come on inside. So in here, Shane's been working his little butt off doing so many wonderful changes in here. I'm super excited about. Um, but we did start over here with green peppers, which are doing fabulous. They're getting so much bigger. 
and each one of the plants has several peppers on it already. So that's very exciting. We did um, green peppers, orange peppers, and red peppers, and then some jalapenos. But check this out right over here. These are our higher um, planter boxes that we kind of put in last minute, and they're working really, really well. We have a ton of cucumbers in here, pickling ones, and they have tripled in size in the last week. They're growing wonderfully. My hope is with this new lattice fencing that um, Shane put in here, that they'll vine out and kind of grow into it and make it this pretty little privacy type area for me to come hang out in the mornings, have my coffee and just enjoy the beautiful scenery and being around all of these beautiful plants that we have been working so hard in here. It's kind of like my little she shed. One of our newer additions over here is we put this old water tank in here that we got at a garage sale for like dirt cheap and it's been sitting in our yard forever and we decided to put some blueberry plants in here and these blueberry plants are locally grown and um, up exactly where we are so the soil is perfect here for what they need to be and we put them in here and they are growing they have blueberries coming through I'm very excited to see how these do we love blueberries so this would be an awesome money saver if I could just start growing them here we have been working a lot on different fruits lately. And on this side of the greenhouse, Shane's been working really hard putting in some more planter boxes for me. They're gonna be huge. We're gonna have a bunch of space to put stuff in here. And right here is my gardening bench. So this is a new addition that was kind of last minute that Shane uh, came up with and it's gonna be fabulous. I can't wait to show you this in the next couple of weeks. We also have this huge area right here that's more planner boxes. So if you guys have ideas, things that you think we should be adding into here, things you wanna see in the video, let us know in the comments. We're very open to it. One of the things we've learned in the last few years doing this is the planner boxes are a huge time saver. They're totally awesome. If you're gonna have a garden, I highly suggest planner boxes. It cuts down time on weeding and you get a higher yield of crop, which is why we put a ton out here out front which I'll show you in a minute but right over here we still have a ton more peppers like I talked about each one's got three or four already growing on them and they are doing really really well we have to water them every day but they are really growing and things are looking good I'm very excited about it up top we have our strawberries which we just planted so those are growing and they do take time but they're coming in nicely and let's head right out here into the other planter boxes. So out here we have tomatoes, a few different varieties, and these are growing fabulously. They've tripled in size, and we have plenty of um, tomatoes already growing on these. They are looking really good. I'm hoping they redden up real soon so we can have those garden fresh tomatoes. I did plant one yellow variety. I'm excited to see the changes in that and how that tastes compared to the red ones. Right over here, we have our onions, our walking onion, which you can see this is about ready to tip over and replant itself. And the way this works is this literally tips over and these little bulbs go into the soil and it just keeps walking and planting. And over here, my beets are doing fabulously. We did do them a little bit different this year and I think it's working really well. So I planted a few right away and they are actually ready to pick at the size I like. So I'm gonna pick these tomorrow for dinner. Um, but these are ready to pick. And then I also stagger planted. So I have some that are growing at different rates. So they're a little bit little. But as soon as these are picked, then these will take off and I'll plant some more in these places. So we kind of have um, beets going all summer long because we eat a ton of them and they are super, super nutritious and super good for you. That's also why we did two boxes of them. So we're gonna head over to this side. And we have my potato plants, which I healed today, which apparently I need to heal a little bit more. But these are doing really, really great. They're flowering, they're growing. Um, I have dug in there and we do have some potatoes growing. They're still about that big, so they got quite a ways to go, but they're still growing and doing great. And last year at this time, we really struggled with potato bugs and knock on wood, we have not had that problem this year. So I'm hoping that kind of stays that way. And we just have a really good yield of potatoes here shortly. And behind the potatoes, I have carrots and radishes, and they're growing really big. They take a little more time, but as you can see, they are coming up. Things are looking good and very promising. If you're like me and you plant something, you're always like, oh my God, is it gonna work? And you get so excited when it actually does. 
And then right across, I have more carrots, because again, we eat a ton of carrots. These ones are coming in really well too. And then I have beans. We have our green beans. And these ones are growing and flowering here. So I'm assuming probably in the next couple of weeks, we'll have some fresh beans growing. And as soon as they start growing, they just take off and we end up with so many. So it's gonna be really exciting. We do have some more beans in the front two planter boxes, which were new this year. And these ones are taken off finally. These were planted a little bit later. That's why they aren't quite as big as my other one, but they're doing great. And I kind of like to stagger plants. So we have beans for a longer period of time. We also do have our backfield of pumpkins this year. If you watched our previous videos, we had a giant dirt hill, but this year we got rid of that dirt and now we have a field of pumpkins, which are doing good. We haven't had enough rain, so that's a little bit frustrating this year. So the weeds kind of took up a little bit more, but the plants themselves are still doing really good with the very small amount of rain that we have gotten. So I am really excited about pumpkin season. So Shane and I had discussed not doing any weeding back here because we haven't in the years past and we didn't want to waste time because we have so many other things going on. But um, he had to go run and do something here. But I think I'm going to come out here when he's at work. I have a day off tomorrow and I'm just going to go through and kind of weed whip it down because it's driving me crazy. But they are doing really well. They're looking really great. The weeding probably isn't necessary, but it is driving me nuts. So I think tomorrow I took a day off of work. I'm going to come back here and take care of it so he doesn't know about it. And then I'm happy, which is all that matters, right? But they are doing great. I'm excited for pumpkin season. They're growing out. They're probably too early to be flowering yet, but I think they're doing fine and I think it's going to be a good pumpkin year. I do hope we get some rain soon though. So welcome to Chaos Garden. This is one of our bigger garden sections and it is chaos because it's chaos gardening. It's we throw whatever extra seeds we have down in that season and just kind of see what happens and we don't do anything in here. We don't water, we don't weed. It is just a hodgepodge of stuff. Um, again, it's been a little bit of struggle this year because we are in a really bad drought. I really don't remember one this bad. Um, but despite that, things are still growing. I mean, I have really good zucchini plants popping through. My sunflowers are surprisingly doing amazing. I'm really excited to see how these work out. I've gotten more sunflowers this year than I did last year doing this. And I've always really liked sunflowers. And there's a bunch of other stuff growing in here. We have some corn. I saw a couple tomato plants, some green beans. We have some kale popping through, some radishes, and just a variety of other um, vegetables growing. And you really don't know for probably another month or so because it takes a while for this one to kind of pop up and go. And you just kind of notice the bigger ones first. But there's a lot going on in here. And I think it is still going to be a really good year for it. And I think we're going to have a really good variety of stuff. I'm excited to see what the next couple months bring. Um, but yeah, it's going really good. And it's kind of fun to watch. And it's like a treasure hunt because you never know what you're going to find in here. It's so many different random seeds. It's kind of surprising and fun. So this year, our fruit trees have finally hit maturity and our pear trees are doing great. As you can see, they're fruiting and producing for the first time, which is very exciting. We have another pear tree over here that is also doing really good. And on the other side, we have a lot of apples growing on our Macintosh trees. So I'm really excited to see that these are finally maturing and producing fruit for us. Thanks for watching. Shane's eager to get back to work. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment and check out our next video right here.